Follow these seven steps to fix your credit on your own to see real results. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step what you need to get started fixing your credit, including three free letter templates that you can use. Credit repair agencies want you to think it's hard to fix your credit on your own, but the truth is you do not need to be a credit repair expert. It is not hard and you just need to know what to do and when. First, you need to know there are five main factors that make up your credit score. And I wanna focus on the two main factors. The first is payment history, which makes up 35% of your score. This is just making your payments on time each month. The second is credit utilization, which is 30% of your score. This only pertains to your revolving debt, which is calculated by the average of your overall limits to your balances. Second step. So now we wanna get a current copy of your credit report. It's important to start this process correctly, and that starts with using a reliable credit report resource that is current and shows all three credit bureaus side by side. It is more important to see what is reporting on your credit and how, not necessarily how the scores look. You wanna get as much information as you can on your accounts before you start this credit process. I've linked below two credit resources these are soft pull resources that do not affect your scores. These are both $1 and then they turn into credit monitoring where you get a new credit report every 30 days to track your progress. If you don't wanna pay the $1, you can always use annualcreditreport.com or download a credit report for each one of the bureaus each month. I linked all the information below on all these resources. So now that we have your credit report, the first area we want to look into is your personal information. You want all your current personal information to be accurate, like your name, your date of birth, social, birthday, and address. You want just your current address to be reporting. So if your driver's license does not match your current address, I recommend going to get it updated. A lot of your derogatory items are attached to these previous addresses, so removing them helps with your dispute process. So to update your personal information, we will be sending out your first letter, which is your address verification letter, which should look something like this. Just make sure to screenshot it so you can use it later. You are sending out one letter to each of the credit bureaus, attaching a picture of your driver's license, your social, and proof of residence. This can be a utility bill, a checking account statement, a mortgage, or a lease. And once again, if this address does not match your driver's license and you didn't update it, you must submit two forms that match. So once you send these, you wanna wait seven days after sending this letter and see if the info was updated on the reports. If not, you can call the bureaus individually to have your personal information updated. It is key to be patient with this step before you move forward. It sets you up for success. So send the letters, call the bureaus, and send one more round of address verification letters. And if they still refuse to remove an address, just continue forward with the process. Next step, once you have updated your personal information, it is now time to take a look back at your credit report and all the accounts reporting on it. Here is when we're going through each account to see how everything is reporting, if there are any errors, accounts you don't recognize, collections, charge-offs, or late payments that you need to remove. So make sure to make note of everything while you're going through the credit report. I'm about to go into a key part of this process, which is your action plan. So a lot of you will be confused here and wonder, what should I pay? What shouldn't I pay? Should I open up any more credit resources? So let me break it down for you to make it as simple as possible on some actions that you can take right now that will actually impact your score before you send out your next letter and you start disputing. Here are the most important credit factors. Remember when I went over the factors that make up your credit score? Number one is positive credit, and 65% of scores have to do with payment history, utilization, and positive credit. So that is where you go in to see if you have enough positive credit. And I recommend two revolving accounts and one installment loan. If you do not have these, you need to open up a revolving account or installment loan right away. I linked below some resources for guaranteed approved cards to build some credit. So if there is an account open or closed, installment or revolving with a late payment within the last three years, I recommend to call the creditor and ask for a goodwill deletion. Remember late payments affect the credit the most. A goodwill deletion is asking them to remove the late payment and update it as current. This works best when you have one or two late payments reporting for that account. 
Next up is looking at collections. I do not recommend going through and just starting to pay random collections. A zero balance collection weighs the same as a balance collection, so we want them to get removed off the credit report. If this is something that you do want to pay, then you need to complete a pay for delete, where you call the creditor, pay it in full for removal off of the credit report. And always try and get a letter showing once you pay the X amount, the account will be removed from the report. The accounts I do recommend selling with are original creditor credit cards. These balances are being put towards your open bills and maxing out your utilization, so they do help to settle with if possible. Remember, 30% of your score is utilization and your unpaid revolving charge-offs are being put towards those open bills and maxing out your utilization. So for example, if you have a first Premier credit card that is charged off with a balance of $500 and the card is still with First Premier, not in collections, try and settle it. Call First Premier, say you would like to settle for 20% of the balance, which is $100. Once they agree on an amount, get paperwork showing the balance will be a $0 balance once the agreed upon amount is paid. Always get proof when you pay charge-offs or collections. Now, once you have created your action plan, open up credit cards if needed, called about late payments, or settled any original credit or credit cards, we want to send out our round one validation letter. So we are sending out one letter to each of the bureaus, including a picture of your driver's license, your social and proof of residences, and the letter should look something like this. So make sure to screenshot it. You are listing out the account name, the account number, the error in reporting, and what action you want done, whether to remove the account or update it, whatever you want done. So that's it. Keep it simple, concise, and to the point. Remember, this is you sending these letters to the bureaus. So say it in your own voice, what you want done, and try and change up the wording on any templates that you're using to make it yours. Now the bureaus have 30 days to respond back. So wait 30 days, check your newest credit report, see what was deleted, what remains, what was updated. Then you will now draft your second round of letters. That should look something like this. So make sure to screenshot it. In this letter, you want to get more detailed and more persistent. List out that account, that account number, and a different error in reporting from your previous letter, and send them out to the bureaus. You can attach any supporting documentation that you have as well for the accounts. Do not get discouraged if something was not removed off the credit report. Credit repair can take time and consistency. So even if it comes back verified or updated, keep working on getting these items removed and working through your action plan. This is where most people drop off. You must be consistent. So once you get a hang of the process, you have these letters drafted and understand what you're doing. It should not take more than 10 minutes each month to work on your credit. All right, that's it for today. So once again, my name is Ari Grumman. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next week.